where six people were killed overnight in clashes over a controversial piece of land. Families living in Mengo Farm claim that the six were in a group of rowdy youth sent to torch their houses. KTN's Asham Willow reports. Dodged by a controversial land dispute for years, Mengo Farm in Saboti constituency is yet again at the center of another investigation. A night attack on the squatter families living here left six people dead and dozens of houses burnt down. By morning, these five suspects were the main puzzle that police officers had to deal with in attempts to know what exactly had happened here. The village now tends, those who witnessed the attacks could hardly narrate their experiences. It is suspected that a man alleged to own 706 acres of this land had sent rowdy youth to drive out the squatter families. But the incident left the attackers on the receiving end as angry squatters turned on them, killing six on the spot. With local leaders having to calm the angry villagers, police have also been accused of ignoring calls by the residents during the night attack. Mimi mwenye nilitumia gari langu kuwachukua askari pale support karibu askari sita hivi hawakuwa na magari na walikuwa wana habari wamejiulizwa mapema. Polisi wetu waweze kupewa magari. Nimepita police station nikabeba maafisa wengine kwa sababu gani? Hatuna magari na vislaza za kutosha. Transnzoia County has been marred with numerous land disputes, some dating back 40 years. The number of squatters and landless residents has also been on the rise. The incident at Mengo Farm now reignites a dispute that has seen even the Transzoia police boss threatened over the controversy. Ashamwilu, KTN.